Okay. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do? All right, so they're going to break those out, and they're going to all jump down. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. We are on Vanilla. We are back in our world here on Vanilla in Navsgain, having a great time. That is a little bit bright even for this time of day, isn't it? Let's just turn that down just a tiny bit. All right, so um, my original idea today was to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start getting some boulders, by the way. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing for the first part of the night, and I'm just going to talk to you about my plans for this video and next video. So my original plan was today to do the tier 3 quest, alright? That was my original plan. I think I'm going to hold off on that till next video. Next video, I think, next video, I probably should double check this before I go talking out of turn. But I'm 90% sure next video is going to be um, the hour-long special. Which means I'm going to be on stream for two and a half hours and it will be an hour-long special. Now, let's turn that down. Oh boy, can't be talking through that. Can't be talking through the freaking auger, right? So audio, there we go. Okay. So um, my new plan is I'm going to take today as a building episode. Uh, and then the next the next video is going to be the tier 3 quest. And I think the tier 3 quest is going to take anywhere between a half hour to an hour. All right. So what I think is next video is going to be the tier 3 quest. And that will leave me, you know, that'll leave me some time where I could do the tier 3 quest. And if I finish it early, well, then we'll go do some more building. All right, I, I'm trying to like balance it as much as I can to make as many people happy as possible. Some people like the building, some people don't. Um, I've got a couple things I want to be doing today. First of all, we got to make ammo. Okay, um, I, I made like 50 rounds of 762 uh, last episode, but today uh, we need to make some shotgun shells uh, because I do like the shotgun when I go through POIs. Although that might change once we um, get our get our hands on a nice uh, you know a nice AK. We did get an AK last episode, but it's kind of a crappy AK. So. Um, I really don't want to have to put point... Actually, when do I get to make the AK? That's a good question. Um, that would be under advanced engineering. Shotgun. Oh! Oh, I can make the AK right now! <gasps> well, there you go! Alright, well that is, um... That's a bit surprising to me. I'm, I'm kind of surprised I can make that already. Uh, not that I want that to be nerfed, but I thought that would have been farther in the, uh farther down in the tree and now that i'm thinking about it now that i'm thinking about it last episode is not up yet on youtube but i wonder how many people are going to leave the comment saying that i can make my own ak and i shouldn't buy a tier one ak no well, that would be a that's a great point that's a great point imagine imaginary commentator that hasn't left that comment yet but i'm pretty sure i will get comments like that and they're good comments and they're true i'm just surprised i can make an ak so early in the tree that's um that's very interesting did not expect that. So anyway, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be hitting some boulders. I might go underground and mine some iron. I really don't know. Um, probably not. Actually, I'm probably just going to hit boulders. And what I'm really hitting the boulders for is the clay and potassium nitrate. But I got to say, oof, it's coming in light. It's coming in light. I think I'm going to have to head on out to the mines at some point. Probably not today. I will probably do that um, next video when I'm, when I'm uh, streaming. Yeah. I gotta hit him. I gotta hit him at some point. You know what I really need to do, guys? And uh, you're not gonna want to hear this, but I need to do a stream where I don't, um, where I actually don't record. I need to do a stream of just farming. I really don't want to take away your hour-long episode, though. I love doing it. You guys love watching it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. All right. You know what, guys? To hell with this. Let's just come out here and get some coal. You know what? I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to come out and get it right now. Now, this is really dangerous. <laughs> this is a really dangerous thing to be doing right now because um, it is nighttime. If anything drops in here, it's going to hurt, and it is going to hurt badly. Um, I don't even know where the where the, uh, where the the stuff is, um, but I'm, and I'm going to be using an auger. So this is this is stupid for so many reasons. It's, it's not even funny. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig down here like so. And then I'm going to put this above my head and hope that all everything works out. <laughs> I'm going to... Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide under a bunch of blankets and hope that everything works out. So, and it probably won't. But let me see if I can find some coal down here. Oh, by the way, guys. Enjoy the... Enjoy the... Uh, not the montage. Enjoy the mind lapse.
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, so we've got some coal. Uh, I was I was worried there for a little bit that um, oh, too bad we couldn't get two more pieces of coal. Yeah, I was worried there for a little bit. We weren't going to find any, but we did. And um, this is the level that we're actually going to make the kill zone on. So this worked out pretty well. If we could just get out of here and get back to base without any problems, that would be wonderful. Uh, I'm not going to record the run the ride back, but I will record getting out of here just in case there's some zombies up here. Nope. Huh. Yeah. So, okay, so you're, you might be wondering, Cage, how the hell did you mine with an auger for that long without getting any screamers? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how I did it. Uh, should I go to the potassium nitrate mine? Nah, I've already got some potassium nitrate at home. Let's not do that. Not right now, anyway. Um, well, I'll tell you how I did it. Um, basically, hold down the button. If you're going to be mining with the auger and you don't want to get any screamers, all you have to do is hold down the button. Um, the, apparently, the, the heat map gets raised. For those of you who don't know, um, there's like a heat map in the area. The more noise you make, the more activities you do. Um, if it gets too high, it'll call in a screamer. The screamer will look for you, and if the screamer sees you, she'll scream, and then she'll spawn hordes. And the hordes, the thing that really sucks about the screamer is the hordes she spawns uh, could could and usually does call in more screamers and then they scream in more hordes and it can get out of control pretty quickly uh so it's kind of a pain in the ass um so the you know every time you tap the button for the auger that's when it ups the heat so if you hold down the button you could use your whole thing of gas on the auger and it barely raises the heat so that's the trick all right guys it's way too freaking dark in here let's get let's get some gunpowder being made and then we're going to deal with this uh this darkness issue and, um, yeah, we, we need a lot more potassium nitrate, but that's okay. This will be good enough for now. And we're going to need about six minutes worth of wood. We'll go with seven just to make sure it gets done. There we go. All right. I might call it a screamer. It's going to be a bit of a problem, but, um, eh, what else? All right, so let's go ahead and grab the generator. So we already put down the generator, so we're going to need the other items, um, which I think I put in my, my tools. Yep, here we go. So we're going to need the lights. We're going to need the relays. Maybe we should make some timer relays. You know what? That might be pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's make some timer relays. I think they're I think they're pretty cheap. Relays. Now the uh the timer relays are going to basically turn on the electric uh, turn on the lights when it's daytime and turn them off when it's nighttime. That's the idea. Um so I think the first thing we need to do here is we need to finish um upgrading all the wood. So let's do that now. All the wood frames need to get upgraded. Okay, there we go. I do like the darkness. Um, I think the darkness adds a bit of uh, coolness to the game. Um, and if you guys weren't like watching these videos, I would definitely not mess around with the gamma nearly as much. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I'm making let's plays, and you know, man, when I watch other people, like when I watch other people's videos when they're dark, I mean, especially if you consider that most people watch these videos on their phone. You know, you know how annoying it is? You can't see anything. You can't see anything. And I'm just not going to make a dark video that people can't see what's going on. Um, that's just my own my own little pet peeve. I talk about it quite a bit. And uh, that's just the way I feel about it. So, not in my videos. Not, not if I can help it, unless I forget. Which could very well be the case, but I'm not forgetting right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade all of these. Okay. And then we, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use regular relays and then I'll just pick it up and put the, put the timer relay in there at some point. Do I want to leave that like that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, so I see what I did here. Okay. I don't want to do this. Maybe I should break these out. I should break these out and move this back, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should. Okay. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's break these out. And then we're going to move the uh, workbench back. Oh, will the workbench go there because of this? Hmm. I didn't think about that. We're going to find out. I don't know if this workbench is a 2x1 or a 2x2 two two, as far as the space it takes up. If it's a 2x2, two two, it's not going to work going up against this wall. If it's a 2x1, I think it's a 2x1. So I think it's going to be okay going up against the wall, but let's see. Okay. Go. No, it is a 2x2. Two two. Seriously? Oh. You can actually see the outline. Yeah, it's a two by two. Wow. Okay, then. All right. So, um, oh boy. Now, how do I want to handle this? Uh, I guess I'm just going to break this out. Well, I only have to break out the one. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. I can live with that. It's not perfect. But like I said, this is an organic build. So it is what it is. Alright, so that comes out. Uh, so that means this can come out. And we'll have to move that chest. At some point. Probably won't happen right now, but... Yeah, we're gonna move that chest at some point. But that is definitely better. Definitely more compact. I like it. And then we got the, the thing right here. Bedroll's fine where it is for the time being. Okay, looking good. Alright, so, um, so let's go ahead and... That's going to be right there. So this is going to go up like that. And that should go right inside. Right there. And we're going to need a wire tool, of course. See, this is why I need to organize. My wire tool is in this uh, drop chest. Got to take care of that <laughs> sometime soon. All right. So you, my friend, will go right in here. Looking good. And now what we're going to do is we are going to... This is going to be dark for you guys, but I have to turn it dark to see how where I'm going to need the light. Alright, so where are we going to need the light? So I'm thinking like right here? Right there? Uh, I hate the way you can't see the lights from too far away. Right? Isn't that annoying? Like, why did they do that? So what I'm going to do is to mark where the lights are, I'm just going to put a, a frame down. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I don't like that. Alright, so I'm thinking another one probably about right here. And then another one right there. That should be good. It should be good. And it rhymes, so you know it's going to be true. Put that over there. And you got to get really close. It might be my settings. Something with my settings also. Why the lights disappear so quickly. You know, I didn't think about that, but that is a uh, true statement. Probably something with my settings. All right, so we just need one engine, and we've got the gas. Let's do this. Uh, engine. Refuel. Turn on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> man, you know, Cage, it might help if you hooked up the generator to the, uh, to the system. Just saying. Just throw that out there, you know. Eh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But not perfect. Eh. Mm, I don't know. It's, mm, it's a little bit... A little bit dark. Just a little bit dark, but not too dark. Alright, I like that better. I like that better. It might be a little too bright. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's put some uh, let's put some outside as well. Uh, oh, we don't have any more. Crap. Should we make some more for outside? Yeah, we definitely should. We definitely should. Did I favorite the lights? Uh, no, really, I didn't favorite the lights. Unbelievable. All right, we're just gonna make another six. We're gonna have to go get more electrical parts. That's just the way it is. All right, well, you want to set up the relay then? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set up the relay. So we're just going to pick this one up. And we're going to replace this with the relay. The timer. The timer relay. And then we're going to hook that up to this. And then hook this up over here. All right. So we need to decide when this is going to, when this is going to turn on and when it's going to turn off. All right. So the start time... I'm thinking like, I think 17 rings a bell. So let's have the start time as 17. I probably could have gone the other way. And the end time will be... Uh, yeah, I definitely want to go the other way here. The end time will be 7. I guess 17 to 7 might be good. Start time, 1700. End time, 7 a.m. Why is it off? Is that... Did I do something wrong there? Or maybe I got to go like this. Yeah, I have to go past 17, right? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. You have to go past the time that it already is. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. It looks kind of bright, but I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think. Do you think it's too bright? If you think it's too bright, let me know. I think it looks okay. Maybe a little bit bright, but I tend to harp on these things. Unnecessarily most of the time. 
Uh, there, put those on the sides. Pick that one up. And then we'll just hook this one up. Okay, it's got to be after the relay, which will be easy enough. Just got to bring it around here. Okay, you come here. Hey, look at that. That takes no watts. You could use the uh, electric timer relays and not lose any watts if you'll let... See, these um these electric wire relays use one watt. Now, if you have a bunch of them, that you know, that could add up. Uh, so if you want to be cheap, you could always use the other ones. Okay. All right, cool. Cool, let's go ahead and uh, finish this up. That's looking good. Do we have any of the uh, ramp? I think we got to make the the wood ramps. Yeah, let's go ahead and make uh, thirty of these. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Now we're not gonna need anywhere near. We're not really gonna need thirty, but that's okay. I can always use more. And honestly, if I can't use more, I can always burn them. All right, guys. After extensive testing, um, you were right. You were right. You're right. They need a way to get up to me. If they don't have a way to get up to me, this base is not going to work. Um, I, I went ahead and broke out every single bar to disconnect that wall from this tower. All right. I put these back after the fact. Just pretend these three aren't here. All right. Um, nothing was connected to any of these towers. I spawned in like six feral zombies. They they just started beating on these walls over here. They, um, they basically spawned out here. Um, even though I was on this side and those towers were not connected to me, if they break those towers and get on top of them, they still couldn't get to me. All right. But they still attack those towers because they have no way to get to me. If they don't have a direct route to you, I guess they just attack random stuff, which is kind of stupid because, you know, they want to make the zombies smart, but they're not really that smart because breaking down those walls is not going to do a damn thing to me. Um, if I'm standing, I'm supported by these walls. They should come in and attack the walls that are supporting me. That's the way it should work. That's the way I thought it would work. Um, extensive testing, that's not the way it worked. So what I did was I went ahead and I built a little staircase in here so they could get to me, right? Goes all the way down here. Once I did that, they came straight for the middle tower, big time, big time. Uh, you might be wondering what are these wooden frames are here for. They're basically just there um, just to, to kind of for filler just so I don't uh, – So so – Basically, right here is going to be all the, the the big setup. I basically built them over here just so they're just for the space is taken up. So I didn't build the stairway where I was going to build other things. <laughs> but I had a real hard time spitting that one out. Anyway, um, so I could still repair from down here. Um, should be okay. It's just a little bit more dangerous because now they can get to me. You know, um, it's weird. I can't. Maybe I can't see that one because it doesn't need repairing. Yeah, that's what it is. Yep, if they need repairing, I can see them. If they don't, I can't. Okay, and I should be able to repair the ones over there. I should be able to repair, yeah, I should be able to repair everything in here. The problem is now they have a way up to me. I put a door here. Uh, this is all gonna be um, like reinforced concrete on the inside. Um, I'm probably going to, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do on the outside here. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna have a wall on the outside. I really don't know um, anymore because this is just uh, completely upended the, the apple cart. Um, this is this base is now off the rails. Um, I had to adjust. Like I said, like I said, if this if this tower is completely separate from the towers on the outside, them breaking these walls right here, they could they could tear these towers completely down. It doesn't affect me. They should be going for the walls that are holding me up. So I really don't understand the thought process. I guess the idea is they can't get to me, so they just start randomly attacking stuff which does make it harder for base defense i'll, I'll give the, the fun pimps that they've made it harder for base defense i just think that they should go for the walls that are holding you up but i guess the, with the way we can deal with the ai it, it would make it makes it too easy i guess um this is definitely going to uh make me scared so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually i'm going to break this out right now some of you guys told me in the uh in the video that went up that i was asking about what i should do with this base you told me to use uh um draw bridges but draw bridges are kind of not you know it's, it's a bit much the draw bridges are a bit much i, I don't think i want to use draw bridges um although i guess i could i guess i could put a draw bridge over here but they'd have to be on top and then yeah i don't know it, it, i don't really need draw bridges i could just use hatches 
I'll think about the drawbridge idea, but I gotta be honest with you, it seems a bit much <laughs> for this kind of uh, for this kind of build. What I could do is I could just put hatches in here, um, upside down, I guess. Uh, right there, yeah, upside down. So what we do is we go like this, copy rotation, and I like them to be a certain way. Uh, yeah, that'll work. So that will go right there, and then I could just put these in key spots. I'm not even sure where. Um, you don't want to put them everywhere. Um, I guess right in the middle, right? So we just put them right there. And then what we could do is, right? Uh, first of all, these are not going to be, these are not going to be reinforced concrete. They're going to be iron bars. So that way I could blow the zombies away as they come up here. If they do get up here. Um, I also won't, I also will not keep the land claim block in here. Obviously. Um, so yeah, these will be iron bars. And then if it looks like they're going to break in, then I just walk over this like that. And there you go. And then what I'll do is I will put these up like so. Yep, on the inside and on the inside. Yeah, that'll work. I'm kind of like, kind of like building this, uh, <laughs> um, kind of off the cuff right now, but I think it's gonna work. So we'll put that right there. Put that right there. Put that right there. I guess theoretically they could break those iron bars and then break these iron bars and maybe jump across the gap. Maybe? I don't know. that. So if the, if the zombies come up here and they break through this set of iron bars, then they could reach these iron bars. Like, zombies can reach these iron bars. They're not iron bars yet, but they will be. They could reach these iron bars from over here. Uh, so then they could break them out. So if they break them out, will they be able to jump across? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> It really, it really, well, it kind of matters because if they break in that inside, they could theoretically have access to my entire base, which would be a problem. And I'm going to have to think about that. All right, guys, I think I came up with something that, uh, guys, this base, it, I'm completely off the rails with this base. So this base could work flawlessly or I could get chased off next toward night. I don't know. If they break into the inner sanctum, I could be in a lot of trouble here. Um, this is, it's really hard for me. To make a base that I know is not the best. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like making bases where I'm left open to attack. But this is that this is the case. I'm definitely left open to attack here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I just did. Because I just did a test off camera. And I think you're going to find it amusing. Alright, so let's go ahead with a feral. Alright, so let, let's, say that, let's say they break in and they're on the other side. Alright, boom, I'm over here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, so let's see what she does. All right, so she's going to attack. She's going to attack, and she's going to jump. That's what they did. That's what the one before her did. Could you imagine if they... Maybe I'll leave that, maybe I'll leave that outer rail down. So, um, yeah, because what, what, I'm, what I'm planning on doing... All right, I'm going to turn off my timer. What I'm planning on doing is just, you know, putting up a, a double fence in here. Like that, and like this. But maybe I should just leave one railing, and maybe they'll just jump over it like an idiot. Actually, they might do that every time. Oh, now I'm gonna be I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna lose some I'm gonna lose some spikes because of it. But I'm really I'm quite curious on how this is gonna work. Now this could go very badly for me, but I'm I'm gonna spawn like a lot of zombies. <laughs> I'm gonna spawn a lot of zombies because I might have just figured out a tactic that would be pretty sweet. I might be able to trick them into jumping and falling back down into the pit. That would be fantastic. Maybe. We'll have to see. Like I said, we're off the rails with this uh, with this base. I don't know how any of this is going to work out. So why don't we go ahead and... Why don't we just go ham? 25? 25. Ferals. Okay, come at me. What are you doing? Okay, so they're attacking and they're jumping to down. Oh, so she got there. Okay. So it looks like sometimes they're getting caught up on the side, but most of the most of them are just falling down. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? I don't know. I might just uh, keep it like that. Now, the other thing I can do is I can put up the I can put up the iron bars and let them destroy them. Now, theoretically, the zombies as they walk up, like let's let's say these are all iron bars. By the way, this is like total base theory crafting at this point. So if this is not your thing, uh, you could just turn off the video now because that's all this is going to be um, for the rest of this video. 
So theoretically, they should break out this set of bars and then be in the same situation where they jump down. Let's see. I'm sacrificing a lot of spikes for this, people. Uh, there we go. Okay. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do? All right, so they're going to break those out, and they're going to all jump down. Wow. Holy freaking crap. That is phenomenal. That is freaking phenomenal. You know what, guys? This base might just work out. We'll see. Oh, look at all that loot down there. <laughs> I'm not getting it. Don't worry. Uh, as a matter of fact, the reason I do the kill all command um, is because I don't want to get the experience from them because I didn't really earn it. Yeah, so there you go, guys. I think that's going to work. We're going to have these separated. We're going to have one hatch. And if they do break into the inner sanctum, I will just bail and uh, come on over here. Let's, um, I'm kind of curious. You know what? In the sake of, for the sake of testing, why don't we really test? Okay. This is probably not a good idea. I'm not doing 25. There we go. Okay. Oh, God. There we go. All right, you coming up? Are they going to come up? I'm not really sure. Yep, here they come. So it looks like they are getting stuck on things. Yep, that is going to work. So that's only three of them, though. Where are the rest? Where are the rest? You guys down there? Where'd they go? Huh. I thought I spawned more than that. That was only like three. Well, they all got up, so... Yeah, that's gonna work, guys. That's gonna work. Oh, where'd she come from? I didn't see where she came from. Now, obviously, they broke out the stairs here, but th that's not gonna... That's not gonna work normally, because um, these stairs are gonna be made out of reinforced concrete. All of this is made out of wood, strictly for testing purposes. It will be all reinforced concrete when, when all is said and done. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if it's not. The Inner Sanctum, I'm gonna really work on making it steel, because now the Inner Sanctum is leads them up to me so i really need to make it solid but the fact that they're not going to be attacking the side um the side walls here is what i really wanted so that would be awesome and if force comes worse i can always bail back to here and um i think i'm going to be somewhat safe on this side although i don't know for sure but my test 25 ferals um you know look pretty good and plus, I could put shotgun turrets up here. There's lots of stuff I could do. Guys, let me know in the comments if you're still here uh, with the base theory crafting. Let me know what you think about this setup. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Anyway, if you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.